Alright, I'm going to go through just a few of the, the basic solids that you'll uh, deal with in solid geometry. And I'm going to define each one usually in terms of well, the shape of, of its base. So let me just start with what, what the base of a solid is. And um, that's just simply the, the flat surface um, on which it rests. Um, and I have here, it's the lowest face when it's pointing in the normal direction. But actually, it's not necessarily the lowest face because the face is only a, 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 um, a polygon. So um, I'm just going to delete that. Here we go. So it's the lowest surface, let's say. Um, because a cone, the, the base is a, um, is a circle. So that's not a, a um, polygon, but that would still be considered uh, a base. So this is not a face. Um, but it is a base, if that makes sense. Okay, so the base is just just think of it as the bottom, or in some cases it's it's the bottom and the and the top, which is the same shape. All right, and I've highlighted, um, I've made all the bases green, to to kind of help you see what I'm talking about. All right, so the base of a solid is the um, f is the surface that it that it sits on if it's oriented or it's facing the kind of quote unquote normal direction if it, if it looks like it normally looks um, so for example here's a cone you know it's not like shooting off in this direction it's not balancing on its point or something this is like the sort of normal setup for a cone so its lowest surface is the base and it's the lowest surface lowest surface of a cone is a um, circle okay so yeah I didn't mean to start with cone, but let's let's talk about that. So it's a solid with a circular base, and then it also has an apex, um, a highest point. So that would be the apex, and then the apex and the circular base are connected by an infinite number of lines. So uh, I apologize; it's really hard to draw cones in this program that I'm using, um, and I couldn't find any good pictures for this particular lesson. Um, of a cone, but think of it like a traffic cone. You've got uh, you've got the top of the traffic cone, and you've got the bottom, and then there's this curved surface that's connecting the outside rim of the bottom um, to the to the top. And that outside rim, or the um, that curved surface, you can think of as being made up of a bunch of lines, like line connecting from here to here, here to here, here to here, here to here. You keep doing that until you have an infinite number of lines and you've got that curved surface. So let me just see if I can if I can show that for you. Let's say like here to here. Like you're just connecting lines from the circular base to the apex. If you do that enough time you'll just have uh, a completely um, solid curved surface. Okay. Hopefully hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's a, it's an ice cream cone, except upside down. All right, so that's a cone. There's a circular base and an apex, and they're connected by this curved surface. Um, yes. All right, let's go back up to prisms. Uh, uh, a prism is a polyhedron, which is a solid that's made up of just polygons of two-dimensional um, closed shapes made up of straight lines. Um, so it's a polyhedron with two bases that are equal in size, shape, and orientation. So I've got two prisms here, and uh, the bases are in green. So here's here's one with the base on the, on the on the bottom, and then it's got a another base that's the exact same shape. I should highlight. Let's highlight. Okay, so here's one of its bases, and then the other base is the exact same shape. So this is a rectangular prism, so this base is a rectangle. Um, which is a polygon that's four-sided, and the the lines that make up it form 90-degree angles. Okay, so this this rectangle is the exact same sh uh, shape and size, and it's pointed in the same direction. And then these two bases are connected by uh, these faces here. These and these faces themselves um, are also rectangles. All right, here's another prism, and this is a triangular prism because its bases are triangles. It's got two triangles that are shaped 
um, have the same shape, same size, they're facing the same way, and then they're connected by these uh, rectangles. Okay, and maybe, I don't know, would it help if I just pull away? Oh, wait. All right, no, that's that's terrible. This is, this is getting out of hand. <laughs> okay, so I thought I could pull away one of these faces to help you see that there's rectangles there. Okay, um, so ignore all that. All right, a cylinder is made up of two circular bases um, that are equal in size, and they're facing the same way, so I don't have, you know, one base that's like doing that and one base that's doing that. They're facing the same way. Let me get them facing the same way. Uh, and they're connected by a curved surface. And you can think of it as, if you're making lines, just kind of like with the cone, if you're making a bunch of lines uh, that connect the um, circumference of the bases, just making lines like that. If you make enough lines, you'll come up with this curved surface that connects it all the way around. You can think of it, just think of it as a can of beans. Alright, you've got two bases, you got the top and bottom of your can, and then a curved surface, which is where the label is on the can of beans. Alright, so it's like, a, it's like a cone, except the cone only has one base, and then uh, the base is connected to an apex, just a single point. All right, a pyramid is a polyhedron with some kind of polygon for a base. Um, it only has one base, so it's not. So with a prism, you've got some kind of polygon for the base, and then you've got a base that's exactly the same shape and size and and orientation, and then you connect them with rectangles. With a pyramid, you've got some kind of polygon for a base, and then you've got an apex, just like with a cone, and you're connecting those. Um, the base to the apex with a series of triangles, and I think I can. Um, yeah, I can, yeah, there we go. So I've got here. I've got a triangular pyramid, and it's called that because the base is a triangle. And then I'm connecting the sides of the triangle all the way to this top point, this apex, with with triangles. So I've got three triangles here that are all they're all coming together at a point called the apex. Um, here's a, well, here's what I meant to be a square pyramid. Uh, this shape is actually a um, trapezoid because I was trying to give you like the, the perspective, the perspective lines. So, um, so imagine that's a square and you're kind of looking on it from a certain perspective. Or, it, you know, this could be a, a um, pyramid that's based on a trapezoid. That's fine. Point being, it's got a polygon for a base, and this base is connected to the apex via triangles. Let's just see if I can, yeah. Triangle, it's a triangle, it's a triangle back there. So however many sides I have for the, the polygon that's the base, that's how many triangles I have going up to, connecting to the apex. So there's, there's a few solids for you. Um, you got prisms, cylinders, pyramids, and cones. And, um... Yeah, that's it. So they have a certain kind of base. So cylinders and cones have circular bases. Um, prisms and pyramids have uh, polygonal bases. And uh, prisms and cylinders have two bases. Pyramids and cones have one base. And then the base is connected to um, an apex.